Greetings YouTube, Mr. Sif here with Camper Killer Commentary number 14, and I'm about to talk about the phenomenon of UFOs and the popular concept that aliens may be visiting us here on Earth. Now most people who think about these things usually fall into one of two camps. While skeptics are busy believing it's all natural, like man-made craft, misconceptions, atmospheric anomalies, hoaxes, and lies, the believers feel safe in accepting the concept that intelligent species from other planets are actually visiting us. But how well of a job do either of these arguments do to explain away the phenomenon of UFOs, or explain the countless encounters of witnesses who believe that they were contacted or abducted by intelligent beings from space? Is there data that shows both these arguments are false? Is there a third argument worthy of attention? And is there a single non-crackpot scientist out there presenting such? Introducing Dr. Jacques Vallée, notable astronomer and advisor to NASA. With his PhD in computer science, he also was one of the first to map Mars. And he was the co-developer of ARPANET, which eventually became the Internet. His list of scientific accomplishments is so long, we don't have enough time to cover them all. Let's just say if you have the balls to call him intellectually insignificant, you're an idiot. And anyone you're listening to about UFOs couldn't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Dr. Jacques Vallée. One day in 1955, his eyes saw a UFO above his home, and from that day forward, he became obsessed with the extraterrestrial hypothesis. Decades of looking into the UFO phenomenon has earned him the title of an expert in the field. No living man on planet Earth today can claim more UFO research than Doc Jacques Vallée. After earning his master's in astrophysics, his interest in UFOs begins to grow as data comes into the Paris Observatory where he works showing a retrograde satellite in our atmosphere years before any rockets are powerful enough to place one there. But Vallée and his team never got to analyze that data because one of his superiors came in and erased it without giving a reason why. Now Jacques Vallée is not trying to say that this object was an extraterrestrial craft. He's also not saying it wasn't. But what he is trying to say is that the observatory was afraid to look deeper into the data because it didn't want to lose important funding or become a laughingstock within the scientific community. He figured that mainstream science was ignoring the UFO phenomenon for a reason, and he wasn't going to be part of that reason. And that sets the stage for the next five decades of Valet's crusade to understand UFOs. For the majority of the 60s, Valet believes that UFOs come from other planets and are operated by extraterrestrial beings from outer space. But by 1969, he changes his mind and starts to find that hypothesis asinine. He eventually arrives to a new conclusion that UFOs aren't from space but somewhere more elusive. He starts interviewing thousands of contactees and he can't see how these ETs can be from another planet. He can't manage to understand it. How do these craft appear and vanish? The evidence makes no sense. People been seeing these things in our atmosphere for over 10,000 years. Why are they even here? Look at it logically. If aliens are advanced technologically, why is it taking them so long to get the job done properly? And that's only one anomaly that makes the ET hypothesis look preposterous. So let's just stop with the nonsense and acknowledge what Jacques Vallée has to say. And ponder it. And I, I spend a lot of time listening to the witnesses. I, I don't interfere with what they tell me. What these people are telling me is that they've seen objects that seem to come out of nowhere and disappear into nowhere. It's not something that comes from the sky, in most cases. Uh, it, uh, certainly in the close encounter cases, boom, suddenly it's there. Or maybe there is a light over the backyard and out of that light something precipitates. That's a material object. Well, I don't know how to do that. This is not a spacecraft. This is much more than a spacecraft, okay? This is not NASA 50 years from now, okay? It's much, much more complex than that. And we haven't really dealt with that complexity intellectually, uh, in the literature, we just haven't done it. If you're a skeptic, I'm guessing you left this video a long time ago. So, let's address those on the fence or the believers with preconceptions. Jacques got some questions, so let's just address them. 
Let's reference his book Dimensions, a case book for alien contact where Jacques mentions in chapter 9 five suggestions that go directly against the extraterrestrial connection. 1. The number of landings is outstanding, no fewer than 3 million per two decades. At our current stage of technology, we wouldn't need more than one probe in the orbit of one globe to know everything about the planet's habits and topography and vegetation, not to mention all of its species and telecommunications. So what's with all the visitations? You telling me these aliens are just taking vacations? 2. Let's look at what UFOs do. They move through objects, pop in and out of existence, defy physical logic, and quickly change direction in a way more akin to a holographic projection. 3. They usually look like you and me, breathe the same air and share similar biology. They don't even seem bothered by our gravity, walking around like they were born here naturally. And that's pretty weird, because science says we evolved here accidentally. I mean, there's no chance that they would resemble us almost identically. You get me? Four. What are the abductions for? Thousands of cases from hundreds of places. What kind of experiment needs that many unwilling participants, and why is their technique so primitive? Bordering on sadistic, sick, and belligerent. I mean, with our current instruments, we wouldn't need to be so twisted. We would just visit one of their hospitals for biological materials. Why are they being so hostile? Five, they hide throughout time. You can find them in our ancient writings, and they always seem to lie. Our modern sightings seem to match exactly. Goblins, demons, angels, fairies. And all the forms they take seem to vary on what a culture's ready to accept, and that's scary. Whether it's the sun disk seen by Akhenaten or Fatima's Blessed Virgin Mary. What do you know about UFOs? Are they friends? Are they foes? Where do they come from? Where do they go? What does the evidence show? What can we say about UFOs? Are they real? Are they a hoax? Who's inside them? Who's in control? Even Jacques Vallée don't know! Even though the evidence is stacked against the extraterrestrial hypothesis, believers still insist it's a logical conclusion. What's with the confusion? Well, Jacques assumes it has a lot to do with what the media's feeding you. In fact, when Steven Spielberg came up to him for advice on making Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Jacques kindly advised him against the extraterrestrial hypothesis, but let's quote word for word Spielberg's reply to this. You're probably right, but that's not what the public is expecting. This is Hollywood. And I want to give people something that's close to what they expect. F*** you, Spielberg. Valet also says that the evidence suggests that there may be some highly advanced non-human intelligence behind some of the misdirection. That in some way it may benefit from the deception. And from the moment of humanity's conception, these entities have been endlessly messing with our heads and our belief systems. I'm not sure if I agree with him. But hey, he's Jacques Valet, and I'm just some dweeb listening. He even says it's worth considering that these false ETs have driven many of humanity's decisions. Given Joan of Arc visions, civilization religions, he calls this manipulation the control system. And the whole system seems to be put in place to sway the human race any way these fakes want us to take. And they can make and break how we feel. And now Valet says they may want us to think aliens are real. What do you know about UFOs? Or underwater ones known as USOs? Are they here? Are we alone? What does the evidence show? Oh, what can we say about UFOs? Are they real? And if so, why the acceptance of their presence grow when even Jacques Vallée don't know? When even Jacques Vallée don't know? When even Jacques Vallée don't know? Where do they come from? Where do they go? And even Jacques Vallée don't know? Thank you very much. I only wish I had the answer. I think after, after an introduction like this, people want to know, well, you know, what are they? And uh, as, as you know, I'll have to, to say that I, I still don't know. Jacques don't know, and neither do you. So stop acting cocky and acting like you do. Try to detach from the Hollywood view. Try to look past the control system around you. It might just astound you if you allow your perceptions to accept a deception from another dimension. Is your reality real or is it just an invention created by entities that feed off your attention? And that almost ends our lesson of the day on the research of Jacques Vallée. But there's one more thing I'd like to say. I'd like to share with you one single quote from one page that Jacques Vallée wrote. It must be possible to gain access to the control of the UFO phenomenon, to forget the spirits and pranks and claims of extraterrestrial contact, and to do some real science, but it'll take a smart approach and a very daring one. What do you know about UFOs? UFOs, UFOs. Where do they come from? Where do they go? UFOs, 
UFOs. What can we say about UFOs? UFOs, are they a hoax? Who's in inside them? Who's in control? UFOs, UFOs. What do you know about UFOs? Or underwater ones known as USOs? Are they friends? Are we alone? What does the evidence show? What can we say about UFOs? Are they real? And if so, why the acceptance of their presence grow? And even Jacques Vallée don't know. And even Jacques Vallée don't know. And even Jacques Vallée don't know. Are they friends? Are they foes? And what's with all the anal pros? I just went 3611 in Oasis, and that was the extraterrestrial hypothesis versus Jacques Vallée. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.